Sightline by Worm is an Ultimate Doom E1M1 replacement. We'll try it on Ultraviolence. 265, 103, 11. Music has changed. Oh, lots of this. Grab that. Shotgun up there. I'm on Crispy Doom, by the way. This is a limit removing project. Yeah, by the way, the name Sightline refers to the fact that it's supposed to have lots of sightlines out of windows and stuff for the enemies to kill me. It does a pretty good job of that. What I like is that it's not all sergeants everywhere. A lot of these sightlines have to do with imps. Yeah, you see the exit right away. It's the red door. There's too many monsters for this ammo I have, though. That's some ammo. Okay. Seems like a solid setup. I mean, this this is tense. This is active. A lot of I think roaming enemies. They're still lurking. Sergeant can kill me at any time. Oh gosh. Get a save going here. Oh, I don't need that anymore. Nice little closet here. Yeah, I like the appearance. I mean, nothing jumps out at you in really a, a good way or bad way, and that's that's actually a good thing. Definitely not overly detailed, it's not under detailed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's an aptly named map, it, so whether it's, oh, there's the blue key. Whether it's named this or not, I think it's pretty obvious that this is the theme of the map. Windows and sight lines and stuff. Sight line is the blue key there. Sight line here. Yellow door, okay. And the exits, yeah, this is, is that a yellow switch? I guess so. So that probably is a secret. I've been out there. Oh, this is that area, okay. 
We will see rockets at some point. Hey, there's a stim pack in there. That's cool. Yeah, I don't know. 265. Seems like we've got ourselves a sprawling tech base. Oh, cool. It probably you probably have to get the keys in order, but man, you can certainly explore the map. yellow door area. Maybe I shouldn't be in here yet. Do I want to go down there? Not really. I'm not going to be able to get back up. Unless I see a rocket launcher or something. There's health though. Well, I gotta come back with the yellow key. And there's the blue key. Yeah, I like this room. Kind of random in shape. Alright, we'll try something else. We will go. Uh, I guess we'll go over here instead. Nope. I guess we'll go up here instead. Yeah, I think we can go this way. There's my rocket launcher. Okay. I can't get back up. But there's nothing else to explore. Oh, now you can't get up. Sight lines, sight lines, sight lines. window. It's always a window. Well, I ran out of rockets, but cleared the threat anyway. Oh, some goodies in here. How could I almost miss that? One-way-only teleporter, right? That's what that color means. Look at that. Yellow key's down. Maybe not.
Okay. Kind of a cool area. Okay, you can try it again if you miss it. That's pretty cool. Oh! Wait. Okay. Something's raising somewhere, but I have no idea where. Hmm. I know there's another yellow door I have to go into. A map called Sightline in Ultimate Doom, so you have no super shotgun, would be prime, absolutely prime, for some uh, shootable switch secrets, stuff like that. We'll see. So far I'm, yeah, halfway through the enemies and zero secrets. Well, there's another yellow door. I think the map does a pretty good job using the Doom 1 monsters. I wonder if this blue key is optional. Because I know there's another yellow area I have to go to. Did I see a blue door ever? Red is exit. I did see blue. Oh yeah, okay. So, so yeah, I basically did it in the right order because this is the other yellow area. Over here, that's a yellow door. But once you get in there, you need blue anyway, so. switch. How do I get up? Or I can shoot it. I don't think I have the angle from here. Plus I don't want to waste shells. Alright, I'm gonna go down here. Do uh, whatever is down here. not really anything down there for me. It feels like you gotta lower this platform in order to get at the level where you can shoot this. I don't think you can do it from here. Alright. 
ourselves a slow elevator. What have we here? This is different. Just in case I never got a rocket launcher. Go. A lot of imps, a lot of darkness. Pretty cool setup here. No, 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 don't do that to me. Oh, what happened there? Some sort of puzzle in the dark. <laughs> okay, there we go. I think you just gotta run across it fast enough. Wait, I've already been here. What's this? Not a real big fan of the ammo starvation. It's not that bad, but it doesn't really. I don't think it really adds anything to this map. This map is about the sight lines, and the combat is well done. I don't think I really gain an unfair advantage by having any bullets right now. However, I'm also sitting at zero out of eleven secrets, so. Perhaps if I'd found any, I'd be in better uh, ammo shape right now. Yeah, see there's a really good tactical decision there by the mapper. When all that stuff lowers, what do I do? I take out my rocket launcher, it's the best weapon I've got. But I immediately put it away when I hear the sound of demons. So that was a good setup there. Oh, I didn't save any of that. Crap. Yeah, once shotgunners come behind you, it's not a good thing. I don't think I've found any ammo at any any armor at any point in this map. I mean, obviously I'm, I say that as I pick up bonuses, but I think it's all the bonuses. Ah, there's a mega armor. Never quite got to it.
Yeah, never got a chainsaw, never got a berserk, so. We'll just get this medic kit now. See that situations like that is why I would put a little bit more armor in the map. I mean, if you got three sergeants over here and one in each of these, I could easily take zero damage, or I could take ninety damage. You know, three shotgunners connect from close range, you could be dead. Where is that? I don't know what that was. Oh, I guess I was a demon. Yeah, see the fact that I'm still at 30 bullets in here. Are there any in here? I don't mind the setup at all. I think it's, I think it's really good. I think the monsters are placed very well. Just oh okay, that's cool. Wait, I opened at some point. armor from here at least. So this is some sort of puzzle because it closes... Wait, now if you come this way. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not messing with that. Alright. 
process. Kind of close to done with the map. I really like how it's hard to find good spots to use rockets. The enemies are always there. Yeah, Baron's in tight corner, so how do I get my rockets off? Also, where did he go? This room's a little bit too dark to kind of be able to see what you're striving for, I think. Looks like there's a switch over there I might have to hit at some point. It's not a jump I can make. Yeah, it is, but there's no point in making it. Okay. So the teleporter... Okay, it just takes me right over here. And then we jump down onto here. Okay. Build the stairs up. Pretty cool. It's funny, I, oops, I ran away from that area without really completing it, but it turns out you gotta go back to it because the, um, the red keys in there. It's really cool how it connects though. This is all off the map and boom, you fall down and you're on the red key. make that jump? I don't know. Oh, okay, that takes me somewhere I want to be.
Is that all I need to do? Oh crap. That was the wrong button. <laughs> I gotta do this all again. Alright, so the trick is just finding the right teleporter, right? It's not this one. Oh yeah, that one works. I like how those Kaganemas over there aren't coming. They just stay put. It's like... Oh, that switch does that. Okay. Well, that makes a lot more sense. Alright, where's that health? Not there. Yeah, this is a really fun area after you come back in here and you got cack demons, you got darkness, you got plenty of rockets probably. Hopefully. Oh, I gotta hit that switch too though. Where is that switch? There we go. Alright, that should do it. Should be able to get out of here now. Oh, I gotta wait for that to come down. The red key is the exit, so I'm basically done at this point. I'm a little bit intrigued because I have zero secrets. about that looks like a secret. It's ever so slightly misaligned right here. Huh. Interesting. This is obviously on a switch or something. I realize that there's a shootable switch situation here. It's very hard to tell if you actually shot a shootable switch. I think I got it. Oh, okay. So you can just do it from right there. I would have tried that if I had thought it was possible, but I thought that was... Yeah, I must have shot it. And it's so far away you don't even hear the door open when you when you hit it, but yeah. It's just a matter of angling properly. Right there. Yep, so you can see it light up briefly. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, that's a bummer I didn't try that. The reason I didn't try it is because I had no ammo earlier. I actually would have tried that. Yeah, plasma gun would have made a little difference. Not that there's a ton of plasma, which I actually like. Alright, what about in all that? Any secrets that I missed? Yes. Oh well. How you getting there? I don't know. Oh yeah, there's a secret in there, the invisibility artifact. Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm good. Alright. So, I got a mercy two secrets. I'll say I got, I'll say I got a half secret because I really would have tried to shoot that switch from there if I'd had a little more ammo at the time. Um, so yeah, this map is called Sightline, and that's totally the theme of it. I mean, it's um, you know, it's it's definitely there. It, it obviously that helps with connecting the map to itself, making it. Uh, fun to traverse your way through. Some of them are, are just windows where, like little windows where you can see stuff just to kind of add to the gimmickry, which is fine. Some of them are actual areas where you can come through. Either way, I think it works very well. Definitely explorable. You do have to get the keys in order, I believe. Yeah, yellow, blue, and then red. But uh, you can certainly explore a little bit. Definitely some optional areas. Lots of secrets that I missed. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what most of the other secrets were like. I know I saw some hints, like the Soul Sphere. I saw at least one Soul Sphere that I couldn't get. I never saw, you know, a BFG or a Berserk or anything like that. Oh, the Blur Artifact, okay. But yeah, I don't know where these other ones were hidden, if they were just humping walls that didn't look anything different at all, like the one was, or timed events with lifts, or what, I don't know, but either way, that that partially accounts perhaps for my low ammo. I think, I think that uh, the map just needs more ammo, and, and not even really rockets, not really shells, but bullets. I spent half this map with pretty much no bullets, and that's not really a good thing. Um, it wasn't that I had no ammo, it's just I had no bullets, so anytime I wanted to switch to that, I couldn't. Clean up cacodemons, couldn't, so... Yeah, I mean, I would add quite a few more bullet boxes, maybe a few more shells, but honestly, shells and rockets I thought were pretty, pretty well balanced. Yeah, the map packs a punch. It's uh, it's not that big a space. It's fairly crowded with all these monsters and all their sight lines. Pretty solid use of just a few monsters, really. Um, you didn't really see Lost Souls to the end. Only at three or four barons in the whole map, I think. Yeah, maybe five or six. So, and just a couple of Cacodemon swarms. So mostly you're dealing with imps and gunners and demons. And they were used very well. They, I mean, the demons ruled the space, the gunners were in places where you didn't expect. And I, I, like I said earlier, I appreciated that it wasn't always shotgunners in these um, little cubbies and using these sidelines. Sometimes it was imps, sometimes it was regular old former humans. Um, I think it can be quite easy for a mapper to just put sergeants everywhere and say, yep, my map is tough. Well, your map is cheap, it's not tough. No, this wasn't that. I mean, I thought it was, I thought it was a really good use 
of the variety of the monsters. So yeah, I would think a few more bullets, a few more armor. I did play it on ultraviolet, so I can't say what the others were like, but uh, I certainly would have appreciated um, more armor early. I got the mega armor eventually, but a little earlier armor. I like the map. Yeah, solid stuff right there. That is um, Worms map, Sightline.